So guys, I went out. I'm not using dating apps at the moment, so I put a load of my photos on photo rating websites. I got some constructive feedback, I got some criticism, and I got some positive stuff, but it's really gonna be the criticism that I'm gonna go through when I'm showing you these pictures now. I did that so you don't have to do it. Let's hop into it with the first picture. So let's kick it off with a really good example. This is a template that I think everybody should follow. They should start with a photo that looks something like this. And the reason that I say that firstly is that this photo shows me looking relaxed in a good environment, but not looking self-obsessed, not looking narcissistic. Instead, I look like a guy who's relaxed, I'm having fun, I'm in great company, and I think that that really comes across in this picture. It's also great lighting. This photo was taken an hour before sunset, and for anybody that knows photography, they'll know that that is probably the best time that you can get photos, just because the sunlight and the lighting on you is not that harsh. Also, take a look and think of the first point that I said regarding scoring the overall photo and not just the person in it. It's a nice background. It's a UK summer day, there's people in the background, and there's a lot of greenery too. So overall, it just aids and becomes a really attractive photo. And I think the thing to say as well is, if you're taking photos for your dating profile, you wanna take photos with people that you feel relaxed around. That was what happened when I had this photo taken. I was in great company and I was having a really good time. So you can see that in this photo. By contrast, if I'd ask someone that I didn't know or I asked someone on a more professional standpoint to take a photo, there's not necessarily a guarantee that the photo would come out as well as this. So this really, for me, reinforces the importance of having good quality company taking photos of you and not just going for the best photographer just because you will feel more relaxed. The other reason this is a good photo as well is that it's almost a full length and you need to have a full length photo or at least a photo where people can see your body type on your dating profile. It doesn't matter if you've got a little bit of weight and it doesn't matter if you're super skinny. You just need to have that just so you have that transparency and you're showing yourself so that people will feel that they can trust you. This is a great angle for me because I look in shape, but I don't look overtly muscular. So it sits within that sweet point that's not gonna put people off, but it's also not gonna be too dramatic a turn on as well. So use that as a template for your first picture. Good lighting, nearly full length, and a nice background, and you looking as relaxed as possible. By contrast, this next photo is a really bad photo to use. It's not a particularly ugly photo of me, and I actually don't mind how I look in this picture. But the reason it's so bad, firstly, I don't look relaxed. I look a little bit intense and I also look like I just don't fully feel comfortable in the photo. But this next point that I'm gonna make will seem really interesting, but it will also just show how important it is to get your photo choice right. The feedback that I had on this photo was that I didn't look trustworthy. And the reason I didn't look trustworthy is because I've got a little bit of my hand in front of my face. And I suppose if you're thinking about, thinking about it on a surface level and on a first impression basis, that could potentially indicate that I'm hiding something. Or well, that could potentially indicate that there's a little bit of inauthenticity between me and the photograph that's being taken. Either way, it's a bad template. I don't look relaxed, I don't look trustworthy, and for that reason, this type of photo is something that you should avoid. This next photo is a great example of how you should use high quality professional images. And I think the reason why this one works so well is actually pretty simple. I'm wearing a shirt and I'm looking directly at the camera. And I think what both of those things represent is a guy that's got his life in check and a guy that's confident. Of course, it's really quite shallow to make those judgments just based on what someone's wearing. And it's actually really quite shallow and quite judgmental just to decide that just from the way that someone's looking at the camera. But I think this photo really does reflect that. So I think if you're gonna use high quality prof professional images, go for ones that put you in that light. And the other thing to say as well, and I think going back to the idea of a template like I touched on with the first picture, if you can have a photo where you do look smarter, and if you can have a photo where you do actually look more serious and more like you've got your life in check, it's a really, really good cocktail with the first photo that shows you looking relaxed and looking comfortable. This next picture, terrible example. I look narcissistic, I look materialistic, and I look vain. And I think you can actually tell that I don't feel comfortable when you're looking at this picture. This is my new car. I love my new car. But would I show this photo as a means of being more attractive to women? Absolutely not. This photo goes on my social media page just as an update and just as a reflection of where I'm going in life at that moment in time. And at that moment in time, I just happen to have a new car that I really liked. But is it an attractive photo of me? I don't look too bad, but does it really reflect the type of guy that I am and does it reflect the type of image that I'd like to put out into the dating world? Absolutely not. Guys will use photos like this because they'll think that their car is a selling point. Shouldn't be. Stay well away from it. And if you do want to use a photo of your car, 
make it look a lot more accidental than this. I'm literally sitting directly on my car with the number plate blocked out and instead I look on instead of looking cool and like I'm you know in check and in control I look awkward uncomfortable but also vain narcissistic and very insecure at the same time. In the next photo I'm smiling. I don't like my smile and I certainly don't like seeing my smile in photos but I think this type of photo is a really good example of something you should drop into your profile. The reason being I look comfortable, I look relaxed, but I also look really, really happy. And I look really, really happy in a very social and normal habitat. And I think what this shows is that I'm a fun guy who's good to be around and a positive guy who you'll feel good from being around. It's also really good having that little bit of blue in the background of the color of the picture, just because that contrast between me and the color blue will really serve as a pattern interrupt for someone when they're swiping through my photos. So if this is the third photo or the third type of photo that I recommend you use and someone swiped through and liked my first two photos and then they come to this picture, the brain will register the color blue and then it will register me and they'll be forced to pay a little bit more attention to the picture and a little bit more attention to me and actually really decide whether it's something that they like. So by doing so, you're switching off that autopilot in someone's brain and forcing them to look a lot closer at you and a lot closer at the picture. So for that reason and the smile and the positivity that comes from that photo, it's an example of a type of photo you should definitely, definitely use. Especially in contrast with the first photo where I'm half smiling and in contrast with the second photo where I'm in a professional setup. The next photo is a classic example of a type of photo that guys use and it never works. This is a group shot. And for me, this is a good photo. I'm quite happy with how I look and I'm with three of my best friends. So seeing that photo makes me feel good and then I'm happy that I look good within that photo too. The problem is someone swiping through doesn't know me, they don't know my friends and they're gonna have to do that five to 10 seconds where they identify me in the picture before deciding whether they find me attractive in that picture. It just won't work. Also, I've got alcohol in front of me too and I think rather than projecting me as a fun guy to be around, this projects me as like every other guy the type of guy that goes out drinking and the type of guy that has a lot of fun based around alcohol. Those types of things that are, are that idea of alcohol playing a part in your life aren't things that you need to project. It's something that can come up in conversation and it's something that you'll probably discuss in early conversations when you're looking at what you both like to do. You don't wanna project it in your first photo and you'll just fall into that trap of being obvious. So avoid the group photo even if you think you look good and avoid the photos with alcohol because it's not something that needs to be in there. This final photo is absolute money. And I wish I had a version of me with long hair in this picture. And I know that this video is dedicated to helping guys with long hair do their dating profiles, but I have to show this as an example of what you should try and recreate because this is a perfect shot. This was me at my best friend's wedding back in 2017. The hair's shorter and I look like a very different person. But look at the quality of photo. It's a brilliant backdrop. There's people in the background, but I'm at the forefront of it. And not only am I at the forefront of it, I'm at the forefront of it from a very, very good angle. The suit, it looks like it fits perfectly. And if we're talking about narcissistic shots and guys showing off their bodies, a photo like this of you at your best angle is a much better representation if you wanna show what your body looks like. And it's a much better representation if you wanna show your body in the best quality light. This photo perfectly does that. Also on this particular day, I was best man as well. And I think that that comes across in this picture because you can see how confident I look and you can see how composed and how happy to be there I look as well. And the fact that I'm actually doing something as well shows that I have status and I had some involvement in what was a really important day. If you've got a photo like this, even if it maybe isn't you from your best angle, because this photo is definitely not me from my best angle, it's definitely worth throwing in there because it shows another side to you. It shows that you can kick it in different environments. And it shows also that people are reliant on you and you have a social life that someone could look at and wanna be a part of. So a photo like this, amazing. And if I could get this photo with long hair again, I absolutely will because it is the perfect example of a natural habitat shot that you should be using. So thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope that you've got something from it. Being a guy with long hair and creating a successful dating profile is definitely a slightly different challenge to what a guy with short hair will face. And I hope by doing this, this video and breaking it down using my rules and the pictures that I would use, I've given you some inspiration and some help in order to really make it possible for you. If you like this video, please can I ask you to click like and subscribe down below. If you really like it, I am now offering one-on-one -on -one coaching and one of those things I can do is help you with your dating profile, then please visit the website down below as well. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. It means a lot and I am really enjoying producing this content. So I really hope that that comes through. Thank you so much for watching.